what I'm doing is I'm going into the five ac uh, axes that are on the pattern. All right? Okay? So now I'm left with five holes. In fact, I'm going to need that. What's that? On, on the base, the, the spot to put those extra bits. Oh, okay. Okay, great. So I'm going to take the face plate off of this one. And you can use these more than once, you know. So this is, I'll, I'll turn this one, that's the one I'll take to the finish. But right now, my trick is, I know where the pivot points are, so I don't want to put the screws there. But I want to get enough hold, and I also want to get it all nicely lined up. So how do you get it lined up? Well, this is my center finder, okay? It just fits in there and has a pin that comes out. I just line that up in there. You can buy one of those center fighters for about 75 bucks. Yep. I got a phone, Bob, that cost me a dollar. <laughs> So now I can mount this. And there's two things I want to do now. Yeah, I, well, I got my glasses right here. Now I can bring this up if I want. Okay, that'll just be that much extra. But um, now that's that'd be off center speed. I don't need to have it going that slow. Okay, so there's only two actions I'm really going to do now. Um, one of them is to make it round, and the other one is to face off this face. That's the top. Because once you start turning things and you get things... <laughs> uh, and once you get things start getting cut up on top, it's pretty hard to start trying to deal with the... Uh, smooth out the top after that. And to be honest, I really am not interested necessarily in making this perfectly flat across there because if you remember it's a bowl so it's this all this part is going to get cut away anyway. But the real thing I want to do now is to make sure that these two sizes match. So as you can, maybe, Talk yeah. Uh, I don't need that anymore, you know, actually. So it's going to for us to watch? Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know how you turn yours on. All right. It looks like you're okay. It's all right for now. So you can see I got a little bit to go, maybe a little less than an eighth of an inch.
Okay. Let me try it one more time. There, close enough. So that means I don't have to rework this. I'm pretty sure that the, that the markings from the back will be the same layout as I've got here now, all right? So now the next thing I need to do is get rid of the saw marks and stuff. This is your big piece of black limba that I bought. It does turn nice. some more to go. So that's all clean, all right? So now, the next thing I need to do is um, cut the groove, the outlining groove that I want. Anybody have a pencil? I showed you how to sharpen Yeah, I know, but I don't want to take it all out. purpose of the groove? Uh, just outline it. Just be, if you're going to, yeah, decorative. Because oh, oh, okay. what I did on the ones that I did before, this black represents pyrography. And it's really nice to have a nice clean line to burn up to. Okay? okay. Especially when it's cut in. Because if you don't, you're going to have all your little burn irregularities all the way around or if you were going to do a different texturing or something in there it gives you a place to work up to and it helps you outline it all right so in this case all I'm going to do is that's where I want it and my preferred tool for that is my hammer this is uh, just a point tool the homemade point tool okay And that's all. So, this is ready. I mean, I can sand it. I could do that. But, um, so now it comes for number two. Is that a test tool sharpener? <laughs> 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 one thing about the DVRs, if you have a DVR, you can tighten the indexing. To spin this out, don't do it. You bend the um, shaft. yeah the shaft on the indexer. They came out. They had to come out with a heavier duty one, but even that'll bend. So 